approximately 10 or 12 feet tall. Um, I am looking to purchase it simply because if you purchase it, um, the nursery that comes in, they planted one on Templeton Common a few years back. We had a difficult time getting a tree to grow and they guarantee it and it, and it has survived. Um, if it doesn't survive, then they will come in and replace it free of charge. So um, that's, that's my thought on the process. Um, I'm hoping to cut the tree in September and get the stump removed so that we can go ahead and purchase a tree shortly in October and, and get it planted. Um, that would give the, the light department a little bit of time to hook up some power for, for the tree so that we can get it lit for Christmas this year. Um, it's not going to be the beautiful big tree that we used to in Bonneville Center, but it will grow in time. Um, unfortunately, um, this tree is just has no needles anymore, so it certainly is gone. <laughs> Anybody that drives through Baldwinville can take a look. It's, it's pretty bad. How about a Charlie Brown Christmas there? Yeah. <laughs> I, I will make a motion that the tree in the common of Baldwinville be taken down. I'll second that motion. As much as and bud, see that. Mr. Chase? Yes. Did stump grinding from the highway department? It's not a problem. That's not a problem. I, are you going to plan it? Uh, question uh, Are you going to plan it in the same location? We're going to try to centralize it a little bit more. Part of the problem with that tree is it got a little bit close to one of the roads on one side. I believe it's the, the little dog leg from, from 68 to 202. It's a little closer on that side. So we want to kind of move it more toward 202 or more center. Well, the reason I was asking if he was going to plant it in the same footprint, we'd have to pull the stump out and not grind it. But whatever. We'll be able to help him. Right. Motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing none. Julie? Yes. Ken? Yes. And yes. Thank you. Thank you as always, Alan. Uh, for the second uh, selectman's meeting in a row up, and this is kind of a trial thing uh, to see how it works. I don't know. Uh, I really haven't asked any of the other members uh, their thoughts on uh, if it was a good or a bad thing. Uh, as comments by the Board of Selectmen members, uh, it's intended if they saw something or a resident has spoke to them or there's a good idea out there, such as the sick leave, uh, anything like that. Uh, just gives, and again, this was an idea that I get from watching uh, the city council meetings of Gardner, something I do in my free time. Uh, and they do it, uh, each council gets an opportunity to, to comment on something. If they have nothing, they just pass. Uh, generally, it's, uh, you know, the Finance Committee is working on this. Uh, Mr. So-and-so stopped me and said, th uh, BPW is doing an outstanding job over here, or I saw this, or et cetera, et cetera. It's just an opportunity for, uh, you know, if it's something good or something that might need attention or maybe we need to address or something like that. And uh, that's where I got the idea from, and that was my thought process behind it. Before we do this, Ray Laporte, the fire chief. I'd just like to take a moment to talk to everybody and a comment on the Wednesday morning if they're available at 0945 or 10 for a remembrance for the 9 11 victims. The uh, Office of State Senator is up there. A little bit of a presentation and ceremony for the, the passing. Thank you. Uh, so it will not be any surprise to you. Uh, when I was in Afghanistan, uh, and I did this for uh, one, one memorial service, I brought back a flag for something I'm working on. Uh, but I, I bought, uh, I think I have six flags uh, that I flew uh, for at least 24 hours. Uh, some of them I took with me in different fobs we went to for jobs. Anyway, uh, I have a flag uh, that I'm going to bring to the ceremony uh, and give you. Uh, it was flown in Afghanistan uh, at Fob to Saab, the Fob that I was uh, headquartered out of while I was on my little vacation. Uh, so, I'd, and I had spoken to Alan, uh, several of the flags uh, I was going to present to the cemetery department to fly on uh, 
they can fly them all the time, but my thought was Memorial Day, Veterans Day, uh, or whenever, just as uh, a small gesture. Uh, I think 9-11 uh, may be appropriate, but it's just a flag that has flown over there, a place that we went, uh, because uh, whether you agree with it or not, right or wrong, whatever the, your thing is, but because of what happened on 9-11, uh, I ended up over there. I had many others before and have followed me. So uh, just as so no surprise to you on Wednesday, uh, or I'll get that flag actually before then, uh, if you so wish to use it. Having said that, uh, Selectman's comments. Uh, Ms. Farrell, you have anything? Well, I would just like to add, if you're heading up to the ceremony on Wednesday, that's when they're doing the repaving of Baldwinville Road. So you might want to find another way to get there besides you as in Baldwinville Road. <laughs> and I would also like to say, I was very impressed by Carol's sick leave bank. Is that it? Um, I would just like to give my email address to everyone here and anyone at home. Um, it's KC Robinson in the number seven at gmail.com. As I have for all of the other various overrides, I'll be standing out, I'm sure, every weekend on the common, waving at passerbys with my little override sign. So if anybody would like to help um, contribute to the effort of having the override pass, feel free to email me. I mean, it'll be an unofficial, just me as a citizen setting this up. But if anybody would like to um, know when we're going to be out there to show your support for the override, if you do support it, feel free to email me and we can, um, I'll let you know when we're going to be there and hopefully work with Gansett Greatness to coordinate some folks as well. So thanks. You're welcome. Um, last week, I went to a Board of Health meeting. Um, I don't know if we have any large animal owners here tonight or not, uh, but their regular meeting, they also had a, uh, a hearing uh, on, it concerned an animal inspector and the state regulation and they, the Board of Health had proposed uh, a number of regulations and fees and things. and. Uh, they created it, they mailed it out to um, all the large animal owners, farmers, if you will, uh, that they could find through various record searches. And um, a lot of them, including the Agricultural Commission, showed up for this meeting, uh, including a, a gentleman from the uh, Massachusetts Farm Bureau. And what was, what was nice about it was not only all the people there, but a commission, a committee of this town that some people want to say, we have so many committees and you know what do they really do? Uh, they contacted the State Farm Bureau and a gentleman showed up and he cleared up a few of the things uh, such as would the town be fined $500, which is the regulation that's on the books for not having an animal inspector. And he said, that's not true, they will not do that. Uh, his statement was he had spoke with the state veterinarian three days prior, uh, who is in Shirley. Uh, it helped clear the contentious atmosphere. Uh, so, you know, the threat, you know, we don't do this, we don't do this. Uh, and he said, no, that's not true. And that's a good thing by having somebody there who can actually answer the question. Uh, what came of it was the Agricultural Commission took it upon themselves, they were going to one of their, one of these people who owns farms, they're going to deal with this issue of uh, an animal inspector. And as a matter of fact, one of the members approached me afterwards and asked about the leasing of the uh, animal control facility out in back of uh, the highway barn and it's leased to a Hisma Rescue League. Uh, and I believe the, fund, the sum is about $3,000 per year. They asked if they could, if we could earmark or use that money to fund the animal inspector next year. Uh, one of the members that were there said they would do the job, uh, and I believe there was an amount set aside uh, of $500 uh, to, to, to do this task. Uh, 
and they have to work out the details but again it was a committee of the town and it was townspeople that came forward and offered up a solution to not only fund it but to deal with the entire issue and they also the agricultural commission brought the state individual forward to clear up some things so a a contentious meeting turned into uh, one of uh, discussing an issue and solving it. And it, it started out, like I said, a little contentious, like, hey, you're not going to do this, no, we can't, to uh, we're going to solve the problem. And the Board of Health, to their credit, and the health agent, uh, they took their eight pages, double-sided, 16 pages of you know fees and things like this, uh, and tore it up and let the people who have the animals and the Agricultural Commission uh, solve the problem and, and fix it, uh, which I thought was a credit and uh, deserves to be recognized uh, in many places other than just a, a Board of Health meeting. Uh, and that is my item for, uh, for a comment. Just piggybacking on that. Unfortunately, that was one of the areas that we had to cut. That was $1,500 previously, and as you recall, at that meeting, I did say that the advisory board was looking to try, try to reinstitute a lot of those cuts that we had to take and end up making in this coming year. And, uh, and the state law is that you have to provide a reasonable fee for the animal inspector, and you know, then you get into what is reasonable. Uh, but I just thought it was, a, it was good to see, again, people working to solve a problem um, instead of trying to duke it out. And it was a, the Agricultural Commission that led the way, uh, which is a, a committee of townspeople, volunteers, that uh, were working to solve the problem. And I thought it was a good thing, and it deserved, they deserve uh, extra recognition. And on that note, I will entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. Motion made and seconded. Do it? Yes. Yes. And yes. Thank you all for coming.